Hello, how is everybody doing? Hope you are all doing good. Um, I have a question. Actually, somebody sent me a very simple question. The question is, the person is asking me if I believe in God. Okay. <clears throat> See, first understand God is not a concept to be believed in. The concept has nothing to do with your beliefs, whether you believe in or even if you don't believe in that. <clears throat> the concept of God is about experiencing God consciousness. It has nothing to do with whether you believe in it or not. See, for example, if you are sitting, uh, if you are uh, working in your office, Around lunchtime, you went to your cafeteria and got your lunch. <clears throat> and one of your colleagues, the person who sits next to your queue, he asked you, did you see David in the cafeteria? He has been looking for David for something. He asked you, did you, did you see David in cafeteria? If you see David in cafeteria, you will tell, yes, I saw him. If you have not seen him, you say, no, I have not seen David. But you have not seen him, but from a distance you, you are hearing, you are able to hear his voice. Then you say, I believe he is there. That means you are not 100% sure. That is where you use the expression, either you believe or you don't believe. <clears throat> Especially this believing or not believing God has come from atheism. Atheism says they don't believe in God. How can you believe in something that you don't know what it is? See, atheists think in their mind, God means <clears throat> a person sitting in the heavens or in the skies and trying to guide the society. Oh, this guy is doing bad things, punish him. Did This guy is doing good things, praise him or appreciate him or give him good karma or give him a raise. That's not the way God is different. God is explained or in, uh, in, any, uh, um, in any tradition. That is not the way God is explained. God is not a person sitting there and trying to guide the society. I am telling you, if he is like doing that way, I am telling you, it is a thankless job he is doing. I don't think that is what we understand by God consciousness. So, this believing and not believing does not arise in terms of spirituality, the way you look at God consciousness. It is something to be experienced. <clears throat> Whenever I talk about the concept of God, I always have one, uh, I have my fish story. The story is, imagine uh, a fish takes birth in the ocean, lives in the ocean and <clears throat> dies in the ocean and merges into the ocean. Imagine two fish are having a conversation. One fish is ask, one fish is saying, do you believe in God? The other, sorry, do you believe in ocean? The other fish is saying, no, I don't believe in ocean. I don't think there is anything called ocean. But the first fish is saying, no, 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 I believe in ocean. There is a ocean. Imagine this hypothetical conversation, if you happen to hear how silly you find it, especially about the fish that is saying that it does not believe that there is a ocean. Because the fish takes birth in the ocean and eats the food. The nourishment happens based on the things provided by the ocean and dies and merges into the ocean. And that fish is saying it does not believe in the concept of ocean. In the same way, <clears throat> because we are able to Understand that because we can touch the ocean. We are not part of the ocean. 
we are away from the ocean that is why we can feel the ocean we can touch the ocean and we can say that fish which is saying that it does not believe in um, ocean we feel sorry for that fish in the same way an enlightened master also feels towards us when we say we don't experience god so it is imagine it is something like a ocean in which we are all living that is called god consciousness so this god consciousness is <clears throat> is there all around us just like the ocean that is the easiest way to understand so you believing god exists or you believing god does not exist it is not going to give you or elevate you spiritually it is not going to elevate you spiritually just because you say yeah i believe in god it does not it does not mean anything to you but if you work towards experiencing that god consciousness imagine if the fish experiences the ocean then what happens the fish will develop such a gratitude towards the ocean oh my god this i took birth in this ocean and this ocean is providing me nourishment and i have so many friends in this uh, ocean i have a family i gave birth to so many uh, small fish and finally i see so many fish dying and merging into the same ocean the moment fish realizes this the only thing that fish can experience is gratitude and love for the ocean so see please understand you can only experience god consciousness through devotion you can only experience god consciousness through devotion the moment you experience god consciousness only devotion will be left inside you please i'll repeat this sentence please understand i let me repeat it again you can only experience god consciousness through devotion once you experience god consciousness only devotion will be left inside you everything else will become irrelevant so god is not a concept about whether you believe in or not it is not going to help you in any way how can i experience god that is the question that you have to ask i think uh, i answered your question i hope i answered your question if there is anything just let me know i'll be more than happy to uh, answer your question please take care god bless you thank you